So we're here at the Lunara Connect and uh, who are you? Well, I'm, I'm Conrad. I uh, work at the Canonical. I'm an assignee at Light Group. And uh, what did you do at Canonical? Well, you at Canonical... Do lots of IoT stuff? Well, yeah, at Canonical I work with a, in a system enablement group. Uh, so basically we are uh, enabling Ubuntu for our customers, for uh, their commercial appliances. Like Snappy? Yes, it's mostly Ubuntu Core on core. commercial grad devices. This is what we do. And what are you showing on this one? Well, uh, so this is like the, the joint effort of uh, what Canonical is doing at EdgeX and what Canonical is doing with, in Linaro at Light Group. So we are part of an EdgeX and as such, and in the Linaro Light Group, we have been uh, working on having the EdgeX run on ARM, which is this Raspberry Pi. Yeah. Uh, which was a bit of a problematic because EdgeX is mostly based on Java and due to performance, performance uh, it doesn't really go well with those kind of small devices. Uh, so in here we have a cross setup, cross host setup. We have a major part of EdgeX running on the Dell gateway, which is running Ubuntu Snappy Core. And then we have a device service of EdgeX running on ARM, which is based on Ubuntu in this time server. Ajax. So, uh, server. And Ajax is a IoT framework from Dell which has been open source late earlier this year. IoT framework open source. Hi uh, Dell. And uh, there's a consortium around built around it and uh, Linaro is a member, Canonical is a member, and we all are like interested in developing in in a for in the future. And so this is a part of the light uh, ecosystem at yes, uh, because the Light Group is about gateways, and uh, Ajax is for gateways. So Linaro has made a decision to contribute to Ajax as well, and uh, we've been working on it for several months now, and we will continue for the upcoming demo. And how's it going with Ubuntu Core, the Snappy, and what do you think about the Zephyr stuff, stuff like that? Well, Ubuntu Core goes really well with Zephyr. Uh, Zephyr works on the endpoints, like in a small farm form sensor devices. And the Ubuntu Core runs perfectly fine on gateways, like like this, for example. What gateway is this? This is Dell Edge 5000. It's what CPU is in there? X86, Intel. Intel? Yeah. It could be ARM, but in this case, it's Intel. And Zephyr is like the client side for Ubuntu Core appliances, because it's, it runs sensors that connect to the gateway. So. Uh... So there's, uh, there's a lot of activity, you're very busy, and there's much more to happen in the future? Yeah, of course. We will uh, we'll work on this demo in, uh, for uh, for next uh, Connect. We'll polish it and take it further. There's an uh, ongoing effort on rewriting the uh, EdgeX uh, device services in Go for performance reasons. So but that, what does it do, this? Well, this is the device service. It's, uh, in the EdgeX world, it's responsible for interaction with the end devices, which can be Zephyr-based. So we could have the like uh, NXP Freedom Board in here with uh, 1504 or Bluetooth, and they will, if they would connect, they will connect to the EdgeX device service. And this is the part that will run on the smaller devices, ARM-based. And then there will be a master gateway run on a, a little bit more beefy hardware. In this con in this demo, it's this gateway, but it could be an ARM server. It doesn't matter actually. Cool. So it's an exciting uh, light group. It's very very well, active. A lot of stuff happening. I mean, well, it is. The Ajax is a, is a brand new stuff. So the, it has been released earlier this year, and we are right on it. So it's everything what's newest comes to to that group. Oh, that's